Oma. Oma. Give this man. Demon. Give this man. Dirty spirit. Telling you, I said to you, remember how your father died. Remember that? I was telling you about that. I said to him, what happened to you, your dad, must not happen to you. you know, it's the same thing. You know, how can someone hit you with a stick, boom, a stick, and you die? You see that the demon is taking him back. It's the same demon that killed the father, but him, it wants to kill him in a different way because it can't use the same stuff. Demons, they think they're intelligent. <laughs> they think they're intelligent. They know they can kill your mother with cancer. Eh? You, they kill you with another disease so that you must not think, you know, sometimes they can give your mother cancer, you also have cancer, 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 cancer. But sometimes they can try another style. You know, they say, no. I was telling this man, I said, be careful. When he's sitting, I'm telling him, when did you go to the doctor? Because you're sick. So God loves you. You are healed, brother. Amen. You are healed. Amen. In Jesus' name. Come on! Professional football. This one. You see, we have got players that are tried. These are players this one, that are supposed to be playing for big teams. Very good with football. And they saw that, uh, oh, amongst all his brothers, they saw that this one is the one that God has favored him. You know, they have to attack him. I told him something very shocking, uh, very shocking. He was so shocked. I said to him, what did your grandmother say about the house? <coughs> you see that? He said, ah, how do you know that? He said, my grandmother called me and she said, amongst all my brothers, I'm the one who to take the house. <coughs> Can you see that? Wife, and so among all the brothers, <coughs> right? The grandmother said, You are the one the house belongs to. Take it. <coughs> this brother, he has never been a person who sleeps around. Sometimes it's not about sleeping around. It's about 
Greetings in the name of Jesus. Uh, we are here at Charisi Missionary Church. My name is uh, Prizy Ngosi, and this uh, is Tumelo Ngosi. She's my wife. The reasons that made us to come here, we are we are, we are having the challenges, a lot of challenges. So we decided to come here. Uh, we're facing uh, we are like we're dreaming uh, strange things. Me and my wife. Uh, my wife, she's sick. Uh, also, I, I, I'm sick. So we we came here, and uh, man of God, Prophet Andres, he prophesied us everything that was prophesied. Uh, it it was true. We confirm it, and some other things that we did not know, he prophesied us. Uh, when the time we were with the group there, uh, man of God. Uh, uh, locate us and prophesy us. Uh, that prophecy it shocked me also because it was regarding my f uh, my father's death. So, uh, which I knew about it, but not per se because I didn't have some much uh, information about it. But he he managed to address it, and it was true. Even the way my father uh, death. So. He was saying uh, they are attacking me with some witchcraft uh, and and sort of things. Uh, when we came for one on one, uh, he also uh, talked about uh, some of the things about uh, financial breakthrough, uh, wedding thing, the house, and also the sickness. It was not just a, a sickness for. It was a demonic thing. It came like a demonic thing. So that's why we were sick. So he prayed for us and we were free in that. And uh, and also this prophecy, he said uh, I should will be playing soccer uh, for, uh, for sundowns, for professional sundowns. So, and back there I was playing a soccer, so but I just gave up. Uh, and he also confirmed that he, because of the attacks and stuff. So, he, yes, yes. Um, when I saw the prophet, he asked me about my sister. Then I told him that I don't have a sister. Then he said, Who told me that? I said, My mom. He didn't say much about me, but he mentioned. Um, the pain which I was happy, I was having. The pain started when I was pregnant, so I thought the pain is just maybe the baby playing around and stuff. But he prophesied and told me it was not uh, the baby, but it was the spirit. Yes. Then the man of God also prophesied about my brothers. Uh, he asked me about the brother who's drinking. I said, yes, I have a brother who's drinking. And then he said he will pray for him. That's, yeah. And also the job. He said, I'm always crying about the job. And I said, yes. Then he prophesied and said, I will get a job, not just a job. He said, when I get the job, we'll get the house. Okay. In regards of the house, uh, we that was our dream to have a house and that was our concern to have a house but then 
my grand my grandmother's my my his grandmother she wanted him to take the house so we were confused but the professor the prophet prophesy and told us that we must not be confused and just accept the offer from the grandmother you know, to me uh, when i woke up this morning i was not feeling well but now i thank god that i am here and i'm feeling much better thank god uh for for weight of encouragement uh, i would like to advise everyone to come and see the men of God, to come and visit the charis. Indeed, there's life here. Indeed, there's a, a word of prophecy. Indeed, there is a light of God. So everyone should come and feel free to see a man of God for one-on-one, -on -one, even not one-on-one, -on -one, but coming to visit a church. So that's my word of encouragement for you.